Hey there, welcome back to Foodology. Today, we're diving into the wonderful world of beet greens and showing you how to make the most of this often overlooked part of the vegetable. Did you know that beets are a two-for-one deal? That's right! Not only do they offer those tasty, colorful roots, but their leafy greens are also packed with flavor and nutrients. Beet greens are like the cool cousin of Swiss chard, with a similar taste and texture. So, why should you give beet greens a chance? Well, for starters, they're loaded with vitamin C, plus, they've got a whole bunch of other vitamins and minerals, including iron, which is great for keeping your energy levels up. Trust me, once you start adding beet greens to your salads, omelets, and other homemade dishes, you'll wonder why you haven't been using them all along. Now, you might be thinking, can I harvest leaves from any type of beet? The answer is a resounding yes. Whether you're growing new varieties or heirloom types, you can enjoy those leafy greens. Just keep in mind that newer varieties tend to develop tougher stems as they age, so it's best to harvest the leaves while the plants are still young and tender, usually when they're no more than 8 inches tall. On the other hand, heirloom beet greens are often tender throughout the growing season. My personal favorite is the Lutz Green Leaf Beet. This has been grown by generations of farmers, and for good reason. Not only does it have tender leaves all summer long, but the beetroot itself just keeps on growing, even when it reaches a whopping 8 inches in diameter. And get this, it's an excellent winter keeper too. If you're a beet enthusiast looking to add more greens to your diet, the Lutz Green Leaf Beet is definitely worth a try. Alright, let's talk about harvesting those beautiful beet greens. Spring is my favorite time to do this, especially when I'm thinning out the young seedlings. It's like hitting two birds with one stone, since you're pulling them anyway. Here's how it's done. First, grab a basket and head out to your garden. Get down on your knees and start thinning the beet row according to the recommended spacing for your particular type of beet. Don't forget to check the back of your seed packet for all the juicy details. As you thin, pile those greens into your basket. Once you've got a full load, it's time to bring them inside and work some magic in the kitchen. Next up, trimming and preparing the leaves. Spread your beet greens out on the counter or table and grab a pair of scissors. Snip off those roots and watch the pile of greens grow. It might seem like a lot at first, but trust me, they'll shrink down quite a bit once you start preserving them. Give your greens a good rinse in the sink, stacking them stem side up for a thorough spray down. Now, we're ready to blanch. Blanching is the key to preserving the color, texture, and flavor of your beet greens. Set a pot of water to boil on the stove, preferably one with a colander insert to make life easier. Once the water is at a rolling boil, toss in those greens until the pot is about half full. Pop the lid on and let them hang out for about 60 seconds. While the greens are doing their thing, fill your sink about halfway with cold water. When the time's up, lift the greens out of the pot and plunge them into the cold water bath. Let them chill for a minute or two until they've cooled down. Now, scoop up those blanched greens with a colander and let them drain for about a minute. They're ready to bag and freeze. Grab some heavy-duty freezer bags and fill them with a handful or two of greens. Zip them up, slap on a label, and toss them in the freezer. And just like that, you've got a stash of nutritious beet greens ready to use whenever the craving strikes. So, how can you put those frozen greens to good use? The possibilities are endless. Toss a small handful into your morning smoothie for a sneaky veggie boost. Dice them up and sprinkle them over an omelet for a pop of color and flavor. Thaw, puree, and mix them into soups and stews for an extra dose of nutrients. You can even add them to casseroles for a hidden vegetable surprise. Get creative and have fun experimenting with your beet greens. Thanks for joining us today on Fidology. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more foodtastic content.